the big question, I think, when we talk about young voters, and obviously that is a substantial advantage, 52 to 40, for those voters under 35, as you uh, note there. Uh, also note at the other end of the age spectrum, by the way, uh, you see a slight edge, closer race there, obviously, for Harris among senior uh, voters. Uh, that has been sort of part of the Joe Biden coalition that is that is, seems to be hanging on there for a moment. But I would say with young voters, the big question for me, Kate, is always, will they show up? We, we see in our survey research in this brand new poll where our colleagues have done sort of a deep dive into the youth vote, they're very dissatisfied with their influence on the political process. And does that make them so disenchanted uh, to not show up? Uh, I, we talk a lot about the youth vote in cycle after cycle. We've seen in recent years in the Trump era that they did show up in greater numbers than they had uh, before. Not sure if that will continue. It's one of the things I think we'll look for on uh, November 5th. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> How enthusiastic are they going to show up? I mean, literally key to success for any candidate. Um, we, Elena Train has been pointing out, she says what she, something she has been noticing at recent Donald Trump rallies is a concerted effort by the former president to reach out to and try to court women voters. What are you seeing in terms of the much discussed gender gap in our, recent, in our new numbers? Yeah, so in our brand new poll, the gender gap is, is clear. It's a 19 point gender gap, meaning Kamala Harris has a 10 point advantage uh, with women in our poll, and Donald Trump has a nine point advantage with men in our poll. Uh, you know, so that's the divide there, but it's interesting when you look at sort of subcategories in there. You see among independent women, when you look at likely independent voters, the gender, the gender gap plays more into Harris's advantage. I mean, she goes to a 15 point advantage among independent women. And we also see a big difference among white voters compared to black or Latino voters where the gender gap isn't uh, as pronounced. But among white voters, Donald Trump has an enormous advantage with white male voters, as you might suspect. And among white women, Kate, Kamala Harris is within the margin of error. And numerically, she's trailing him by three. Fifty percent of white women support Trump in our poll. Forty seven percent support Kamala Harris. I mean, that's well within that subgroup's margin of error. Um, I would just note Hillary Clinton in 2016 lost white women to Donald Trump by nine points. Joe Biden lost white women to Donald Trump in 2020 by 11 percentage points. Mm. If, if, that is, if that mirrors what it looks like on election night about how white women cast their ballots in this election, that would be very good news for Kamala Harris.